Okay, today I'm going to show you quickly how to install ExpressLRS onto your stock R9 transmitter in a way that requires no soldering and is reversible if you would like to go back to the default firmware. Uh, in the description below there are links to the repo and any files you need. In our hardware menu, on your SD card, I've got a, well, I've made a folder called firmware, Express LRS. In here, you need to place two files. There's a bootloader that can be found on the repo, uh, and I'll link that in the description. This is the first one we're going to install. So we're going to install that to our external module. Now, this stalls. Uh, ne installs next to the FreeSky bootloader. So when the module powers up, the FreeSky bootloader will call the ExpressLRS bootloader, which will then call ex the ExpressLRS and run the firmware. The ExpressLRS firmware still needs to be compiled in platform I.O. Eventually, hopefully, there will be a binary on the repo you can just download, but for now it still needs to be compiled uh, and then copy it onto your SD card and flash your external ExpressLRS module. Now, for this, you'll still you currently need a custom build of OpenTX, which is on the repo. Uh, and Raphael has been kind enough to do this work for us. Once this finishes installing, you get the startup tones. You're done. Now eventually this process will be the same for the receivers, uh, we're not quite there yet. Now if you'd like to go back to your R9 firmware, you can just install it as you normally would. And go back to the original firmware. Done.